you're a professional football player. You're getting scanned. It's not just children getting brainwashed on cartoons. It's everywhere. This is the prison grid, turning the whole world into a cashless control system. I have read the federal documents, the total plan to force us into these compact cities. You absolutely must resist the thumb scans, the face scans, the retina scans, cameras that can recognize you and scan your face against a billion faces in a single second. Everything, no food, no water, no houses, no jobs, no nothing without it. They're actually announcing it. They're going to put it in place. And you are the terrorist. You've already heard them say it. Gun owners, Christians, conservatives, libertarians, liberals, anybody that doesn't go along with global new world order tyranny will be watched, will be controlled, will be tracked. The New World Order gang has a reason they want to control you, and they bragged about it. Now the Bilderberg Group and Reuters, which they own, have gone public that they actually groom our presidents, our prime ministers, that yes, they really are international bankers, yes, they are royal families, yes, they do run the central banks, and that we are the property of a global super state in Reuters they're throwing it in your face, which is owned by a Bilderberg Group member, like Prince Philip. Prince Philip, in his own publication, If I Was an Animal, brags about how he would kill 80% of the population, how his great dream is to come back as a virus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is in your face. These psychos are creating a matrix-like control system and talking about killing you. From Ted Turner at the UN to Prince Philip, they're out of control and on a massive power trip. People like Ted Turner and Maurice Strong have actually been pushing writing the textbooks for a massive environmental movement control system to steal all of the private property. Using the phony environmental movement, they're ramming through their agenda. Remember, the environmental movement has nothing to do with saving the environment and everything to do with stealing property and empowering world government. We've lost our way. The Earth is a living organism. We've got to praise our mother goddess. I produced a documentary film called America Destroyed by Design. We traveled 6,000 miles around America and witnessed the horror of the United Nations taking over our national parks and monuments. Now under the desertification treaty signed October 18, 2000, 70% of the country is under United Nations jurisdiction. This is the map of what they plan to control in the next two years. You see, 90% of the country is already pristine, so most Americans don't realize how much has already been taken by the United Nations. The three maps you see on your screen are what they plan to get. All the areas in red, if you lay the three maps over each other, show that upwards of 90% of the country will be controlled by the United Nations. And way back in the mid-1990s, the United Nations Treaty, the Convention on Biodiversity, states that human beings are nothing more than cattle, chattel, and must be controlled by a centralized law enforcement police state, that property rights are not absolute, and that people are the problem, and that global tyrannical government is going to have to step in to save the earth. Talk about tyrants making excuses for their criminal activity. It then goes on to talk about chicken little debates about how there's going to be global warming and the sky is falling, and if they don't get rid of 80 plus percent of us, we're talking about 5 plus billion people, that the earth is going to die. Then the UN talks about how we must all be reduced to the level of peasants or there won't be enough resources to go around. Talk about a rationale for slavery. Then they brag about ancient societies using infanticide, human sacrifice, homicide and feuding and other horrible practices as a way to control population and how it's good. The Burmese army killed 2,000 people and drove 30,000 from their homes to make way for a United Nations environmental sanctuary. Then they discuss how they could murder half the world's population by restricting fertilizers. This was written by psychotic murderers. The documents already talked about human sacrifice. Then they get into how ancient societies use the environment and considered it to be holy and how Christians cut down the sacred groves where they engage in their special rituals that help maintain and replenish nature. Then there are the mysterious Georgia Guidestones owned by Illuminati leaders that actually talks about reducing the world population by 80%. That number we heard from Prince Philip and Ted Turner so many times before. How they must maintain the population forcibly at 500 million. 
And now in recently declassified government documents in Australia, we learn that world-famous microbiologists, Nobel Prize winners, were actually planning to release biological weapons to reduce an overpopulated world. The revelation is contained in top-secret files declassified by the National Archives of Australia. I challenge everyone to read the Nightmare Kyoto Treaty. A total United Nations takeover of the world's energy supply. A huge taxing mechanism to control the populations of the planet Earth. And the science behind it? There is no global warming. We have a regular 12,000 year cycle with 100 year sub-cycles. Then they have their chicken little scenario of ozone thickness. Using fear to get control of the resources. Then they have their human waste reclamation centers. Their centralized, federalized, socialized health care systems. So they can cover up the mass poisoning of the entire population. Fluoride, a known deadly toxin that causes cancer, severe bone fractures, you name it, retardation of children. Talk to the Nobel laureates that have exposed it. It's being crammed into the water worldwide. The amount of solid scientific evidence that fluoride kills is now overwhelming. Those that oppose it are flat earthers, denying the facts of what's happening in our society. Aspartame, the taste that kills. To call aspartame a poison is doing it a favor. According to the scientists and brain surgeons I've interviewed, this is one of the biggest killers in the United States today. It's in over 9,000 foods. Everything from cancer viruses to squalene and mercury has been found in vaccines. The entire vaccine supply is contaminated. And what is the government doing? Mandating more and more injections of our children. Truth is stranger than fiction. Elites throughout history have always sought to control their peasants, control their serfs. And now the elite has almost unlimited technology they know that breakthroughs have already occurred that will allow them to have extended lives, perhaps eternal lives, with the help of the cybernetic interfaces. The globalists, and they talk about it in their own policy papers, are not about to allow you and your family to have access to this. They're going to herd you into the reservations. They're going to control you with the new advanced technologies that they're totally obsessed with. They're going to exterminate 80% of you, and then they are going to live like gods on a Mount Olympus. My friends, it's in the policy papers, it's in the documents, and in a film coming out at a later date, I will expand on what their final plans are. But it's actually on the record. Use your common sense and resist them. You've seen the historical record. You've seen the facts of government-sponsored and controlled terrorism in the final decades of the 20th century going into the new millennium in 2001. This is a call to arms, a call to the information war to wake up your friends, your family, people in your community, your churches.